to LTMC course. This is your instructor, Pramod Bangalore. LTMC stands for Legacy Transfer Migration Cockpit. LTMC is a tool in S4HANA for migration of legacy data, whether it is master data or open transactions into S4HANA. Let us now try and understand the features and functions of LTMC. LTMC, as I said, is a standard tool in S4HANA for data migration from legacy system, both master data as well as transaction data. It is a default tool which comes part of S4HANA, doesn't require configuration or customization, can be used by functional consultants as well as the end users with training. Now, LTMC can be used both for greenfield and brownfield S4HANA deployment. When I say greenfield, it is for deployments which are starting from the scratch. And when I say brownfield, which is migration from or migration or conversion from ECC to S4HANA. In both of the scenarios, LTMC can be used. Now, LTMC is supported both on cloud and on-premises. Even though there might be some small differences in terms of functionalities, overall process remains the same for both of the versions. As I said, it is standard delivered in S4HANA and no additional configuration or customization is required as long as standard objects are used. One thing to be noted is that the present objects, the standard objects which have been delivered in the LTMC can do only the create and not design for change of any master data or transactions. Now, LTMC comes with standard migration objects and a lot of functionalities associated with the migration object. When I say migration object, the name which I am going to use quite often in this course, I mean the object which is being migrated from legacy system to S4HANA, whether it is a master data or whether it is a transactional data, it is referred to as a migration object in LTMC. So, in LTMC, SAP provides standard objects which can be used for all the master data and transactions in the SAP system. Now, at the back end, from the technical perspective, it uses LTMC uses BAPIs to update the data into S4HANA tables after the migration. Now, LTMC is a WebDIN Pro based application. What does that mean? It is a browser based application. All the transactions are done in a browser, and the back end technology SAP uses is of WebDIN Pro. This is more from a technical perspective, there is no action or from the user perspective to be taken. And lastly, it supports multiple data sources, which is one of the biggest uh, improvements or functionalities from the previous version. Now, coming to the previous version, the LTMC tool succeeds the LSMW tool in ECC system. LSMW was used as a legacy transfer uh, data transfer tool in ECC, which is now succeeded by LTMC in S4HANA. Now, if, you, if one notices, LSMW transaction is still active in S4HANA. It is not that it has been taken out. However, in S4HANA, SAP recommends to use only LTMC for consistency. Now, when you say multiple data sources, in previous LSMW, only files were supported for uploading, whereas there are two other sources through which you can use the input for the migration, which I am going to kind of discuss in the next slide in detail. So, as a overview, LTMC is a data migration tool. In fact, it has been simplified a lot from the previous uh, uh, version, which was, as I said, which is called LSMW. The steps have been decreased. There are a lot of self-guided uh, procedures. A lot of things happen in the background and a lot more functionalities have been added and LTMC is a real good user-friendly tool which can be used for migration during the implementation cycle.